we all experience one way or another degree of nonviolence or ahimsa. It's just that we just don't call it like that. Mm-hmm. And because any any moment that we face some resistance or hesitation to follow a negative energy or oppressive energy or when you're a kid that you're doing a tantrum and then your mom comes with love and feeds you or gives you like that's that's ahimsa that's love so when we experience this kind of unconditional love that's ahimsa I was in a very creative, beautiful place with colleagues on the astronomy department, learning incredible ways to do research and come up with questions that humanity has not come up with in a while, and then having scientific evidence for that. It was a great environment, and yet the people that were taking care of our places, they were the worst paid workers in the entire state of California. So how was possible that the University of California was not honoring their workers that keep our places clean and vibrant and, and comfortable for us to work with. It doesn't matter that I need one year to get my PhD or one second. Uh, I, I don't want to receive a title from an irresponsible institution that is putting and risk the survival. Forget about humanity, the, the whole biosphere. Well, my dad has been always a huge fan of of Gandhi. I remember that after he watched Gandhi, the, the film, um, he started sharing with me. I was six years old and I still remember I get goosebumps and, and a knot in my throat. But my dad was, you know, evoking that greatness. And then I remember he said, like, you know, Mahatma Gandhi, you know what Mahatma means? And he was like, no, it means great soul. And he, there is this hardcore atheist communist talking to me. Well, uh, the Occupy movement was a whole energy that was capturing the hearts and minds of people, saying that it started in New York City with a place Occupy Wall Street. We were just meditating, we were really peaceful, and then they come and uh, arrest us. Well, the, the first thing, was that it was a silent Monday, so I remember uh, the police officer comes and and then asks my, my name, and, and I just make a, a sign and, for a piece of paper, and I think, oh, maybe, you know, he's death or something. So he brought this, and so I write, you know, on Mondays I practice silence, but I'd like you to hear that I love you. Ah. And then he reads it, and he's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> that's what he said. You know, and that's when you start, like, touching the heart of, of the opponent. The reason why we move there was because the police of the subway that there is called BART, at that point they killed this 22-year-old 20, Oscar Grant. He's a, he was a black brother that had a, a three-year-old daughter in New Year's Eve, and he was caught in film that he was like cold blood killed by this police officer out of fear, because that's how is the dramatic thing, that they're trained out of fear. And so we said, well, we need to move to this neighborhood to, to bring a different way that we can relate. So when there's tension and there's conflict, there's definitely a different way that we can relate with each other. So the, in order to create peace, like Shanti Sena-like, my purpose was to create a peace army this, in this neighborhood. Vinova was very clear. You first need to have a save us Sena. Uh, an army of service because then when people know you there and they you have break some fights already but then you're cleaning and you're serving there then when you just show up you don't have to say much it's like, oh this is the crazy people that are always smiling and that they're always bringing positive energy and taking care of our kids so it's an automatic kind of and then they start protecting you now I say to people don't believe it because I said so and actually, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I believe or not in gravity. If I go to the roof of this 
building and walk off, I'm going to fall. If I practice it and I have this, this hatred, this state of mind in my, in my being, it will eat up my spirit. It doesn't matter if I believe it or not. It's the law of nature. Period. Period.